you can be able to borrow in some circles three to five times your savings. So what you are talking about, you can be able to get 360,000 after one year of saving. There's a story that has been trending about how to own a home with a salary of 13,000 shillings. Some friends have sent this to me, many friends actually, and they are asking if I can do a video on the same. This is Real Estate in Kenya with Ruben Kimani. In this channel, we unlock secrets of successful real estate investing. Whether you are a beginner or a successful or a seasoned investor, this is the right place for you to learn everything about real estate investing. Let's give you the four stages. I'm going to give you just four on how to go about owning a home with a salary of 30,000 shillings. If you have a bigger salary, you can do it faster and even better and even bigger. Step number one. I shared in a previous video about budgeting rule 50, 30, 20. What does it say? 50% of your salary, of your income, should go to your needs. We are talking about food, clothing, uh, rent, and all those things. 30% should go to your wants, whether it's furniture, whether it's mobile phones, whether it's entertainment, uh, whether it's uh, that master's program. And 20% should go to your investment or saving. More towards investment, this is where I'm focusing about. Let's go back to the 30,000 salary. What is 20% of 30,000? That's about 6,000 shillings. If you are to save that amount for one year, you'd have 72,000 shillings. That is step number one. You understand the budgeting law. You go to step number two. What do you do? Join a circle. Specifically a circle because it's better to save that money there. A circle gives you returns per year, but that's not where I'm going. This 72,000 in a circle, you can be able to borrow in some circles three to five times your savings. So what you are talking about, you can be able to get 360,000 after one year of saving. So we are in year one. If you look at username investment portfolio, they are very uh, affordable and strategic plots that you have sold for that amount. I'm talking about plots where you can live in the morning, especially in Gong at some point, and come back in the evening. People have built their own homes there. So the third step is to get an affordable, precisely located, strategic piece of property that is within commutable distance from the city of where you work, a place where you can build your own home. Now you have savings. Number two, you have an affordable plot. What do you do as number three? Remember, your salary is increasing. You are getting per DMs. You are getting overtimes and many other lump sum. You are earning 30,000 at the beginning of this journey. By the time you get to the, the third year, you might be earning 50 or even more. Now you can save even more money. You can even get more lump sums. What do you do with that money? Do you add to your wants? Do you add to your needs? No, you add to your investment. I've seen people do even 30, 50% or even 60% as an investment. Then they remain with the rest. You can move way faster by the power of compounding. So we are at step number four. Remember, what is very important here, because you are earning 30,000, the very important thing to do is to ensure you increase your salary and your monthly income. How do you do that? This is through promotion, working, handa, and many other things that you can be able to do so that maybe you can reach 100,000. Those who earn even half a million can be able to hit this target in a few months. And because over the years, in five years, you could be earning 200,000, meaning that you can now have even more than one house over a period of time. This is called working smart. Remember this step-by-step -step way of building your own home in 30,000 is not that easy as well. You need to be um, patient. Number two, you need to have precision. You need to be very disciplined with your finances to ensure every coin that comes go to that home. 
you can do it in a few years. Do you ask to yourself, how did our parents want very miaga salary, very little salary, afford to build the homes that they have today? They use such, such smart methods and you can still do the same. So that is exactly how you can own an affordable home with a salary of 30,000 shillings. Do you have any comment? Do you have any question? Don't forget to put it down there. I'll try my best to respond to them and give you professional advice. See you in the next video and until next time, keep learning, keep growing and keep investing in real estate.